Hello, my name is Raymond Nichols and I'm the Level Product Manager here at Flowcorp. Today we're going to be discussing the Tracer Configuration Tool and how this tool can be beneficial to you and your sales staff for field installations. We can demonstrate to you how we interface directly with the Tracer through Heart Protocol Communication. In order to connect to the Tracer Configuration software, you will need a USB Heart modem and a 250 ohm resistor. The heart modem simply plugs in to the PC's USB interface. And then we select the alligator clamps and place them on either side of the 250 ohm resistor. The 250 ohm resistor will be positioned in the 4 to 20 milliamp positive output terminal. The tracer configuration tool is a very helpful tool to have out in the field, especially when troubleshooting an application. Here, we can verify the settings that the end user programmed into the tracer simply by se selecting this start button. With this start button, we can go out and grab a whole bunch of parameters that have been set into the tracer. Once the collect and save is finished, we can verify the settings of this tracer. Here, we can see that the set 4 milliamp value is 15 inches, and the set 20 milliamp value is 3 inches. So this tracer has a 12 inch span. Also, we can verify our upper and lower switching points, which is at 4.02 inches. We can verify our amplitude threshold, which is set for 200. We can verify our probe length, which is 17 inches. From the basic configuration tab, we can adjust a variety of the tracer settings. For instance, set lower range value or 4 milliamps. We can select 12 and then send the command. And we can do the same thing for setting 20 milliamps simply by selecting this box, inputting a value of 4, and sending the command. Another setting that can be adjusted is setting up the probe length. For instance, we can select this box, type in a probe length, we'll use 40 for 40 inches, and send the command. We can confirm that 40 inches is the probe length by selecting this command, get probe length. Another useful command is get level reading. By simply sending this command, the tracer will report where level is contacting the probe. Another useful tool is the acquire signal data command. By simply sending this command, one can analyze the signal of the tracer in a process. Once on the signal tab, we can analyze the signal of the tracer in your process. This signal is a negative pulse, which is indicative of level. This negative peak is at approximately nine inches. So we have nine inches of level on this probe. We also have some slight disturbances in this process, as indicated by these pulse positive pulses. We can also analyze that these negative pulses is where the probe end is, and then our signal begins to fade out. Let's examine a different signal. When examining this signal, the first thing we notice is that the positive pulses are removed. This is because we've implemented the disturbance signal scan. The disturbance signal scan is a powerful disturbance signal suppression feature of the Tracer 1000. The sensor scans its entire probe length for any disturbance signals in the application that could potentially be misinterpreted as level readings, memorizes them, and suppresses them during operation. That way, the Tracer 1000 only recognizes the actual level signals caused by the liquid to be measured. We just went over some basics of the Tracer configuration tool. If you need further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us.